Let's talk about the reader view on Safari for iPhone. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on technology, accessibility, and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. If you're interested in that type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell for more videos like this. Recently, I did a video about the reader view or simplified view on Chrome for mobile. If you use Chrome for mobile, check that video out and I will link it down in the description and in the cards too. So let's get right into it. Here I have an iPhone 10 with voiceover on and I am on the Live Accessible web page on one of our blogs. Go up to the top of the screen. There is a button that says format options or if you're using Zoom, it's the first button on the top left um, and it has like a little A and a big A on it. If you double tap or tap on there, Page scale. One. It gives you a menu. Here you can translate, you can make the font bigger or smaller, but if you swipe, show reader view button. there is something called show reader view and you can double tap on there. Address. Once you double tap on there, it'll give you the article in plain text. So there's no advertisement, there's no buttons at the top or the sides. From here, you can just use voiceover to read it, swipe through, or do a two finger swipe down to read the, whole, the rest of the article. But there are some options. If you go back to the first item on the screen, which is still that little and big A button. Selected, format options, button. And double tap on Selected. there. Selected, format so here, the first option is to increase or decrease the size of the reader view. I'm going to swipe up with level voiceover. Four, level five, level six, level seven, level, level, level 10, level nine. And you can get it pretty big. And then if we go back up to that menu, select text size, hide reader view, button. Hide reader view is the next option. So if you want to exit the reader view and just go back to the regular web page, you can do that. Font. The okay. next one is you can choose the type of font you want. I'm pretty comfortable with this kind of font. It's nice and smooth and no extra lines, so that's usually easier to read. White. Button. Then after that, it'll say white, sepia, gray, sepia, gray night. and night. So I like the night or the dark mode, which will put a uh, white text on a dark background, but you can pick from here basically a theme of what you want the article to look like. Now, the last option is website settings. Website settings. So if I double tap on there, request desktop website. So here you can request the desktop mode, but the interesting option here is the next one. Use reader automatically. It says use reader automatically. So if you want to whenever there's the reader mode available, you can double tap here and have it automatically turn on and put you into reader mode. So that's pretty much what the reader mode has to offer on Safari for iPhone. However, this option is not always available and it works mostly for blogs and articles. It would be great to be able to have like night mode or dark mode on every website. That would be really helpful. But this is still really great because you can read the whole article with no advertisements and you know, just, just all these crazy links and um, navigation buttons everywhere. And so it can be really helpful for accessibility or just it's easier and nicer to look at. So if you like this reader mode, give a thumbs up down below and leave a comment down below. What's your favorite theme? White on black, black on white, uh, or sepia, or a completely different color combination. What's easier for your eyes to read? So that's it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. And if you want to support us, check out our Amazon shop for some of our Live Accessible t-shirts or just some products that we recommend. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.